I love new months, new weeks, new years. Anytime I have a reason to reset and restart, I feel like it brings me so much peace and motivation and clarity. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about things that you can do every month to set yourself up for success, whether it be for manifesting, for setting intentions, or for just getting organized in general. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. So as much as I like to be free and choose my activities based on my mood and how I'm feeling, I also really enjoy structure. And I feel like structure allows me to fully enjoy my free flowing energy. It's kind of like the masculine and the feminine energies coming together to support each other because you need both to coexist with each other in order to feel that sense of peace. So this is just my way to write out the foundation of my month so I feel supported in my actions. Okay, so the first thing that I do, kind of weird, but I blow cinnamon into my house. If you saw my previous video, then you know why I do this and I don't sound so crazy, but this is how I welcome abundance into my home. I'm pretty sure that no one that lives in my house knows that I do this every month, but I do. So this is the cinnamon ritual and cinnamon is the spice of prosperity, abundance and protection. So on the first of every month, I get a handful of cinnamon, I stand outside in front of the open door, and I think and visualize of the abundance that I want to experience that month. And then as I'm feeling these emotions of receiving and experiencing this abundance, I blow the cinnamon into the house and I leave it for 24 hours. So that's the first thing I do. Next, because we are moving into a new month, I like to leave the past in the past. And what I mean by that is I might be carrying the weight of certain thoughts or feelings from past events into the new month that I don't want to take with me, that I want to let go of because they're no longer serving me. So I'm gonna leave them in the past where they belong. I'm not gonna take them with me into this new month. So I do two things. I write out a doubt list or a letting go list. I don't have a specific name for it, but basically I write out every little thing that has been bothering me or that I've been fixated on that I know is no longer serving me and that I completely wanna let go of. And things that I don't even necessarily believe anymore, it's just because I've thought of it multiple times, it's continued to cycle in my brain and I keep going back to it. So this is my way of putting it on paper, getting it out so I can see it, and then I take that list, after I'm done writing everything, getting everything out, I take that list and I either rip it up and throw it away or I burn it. I prefer to burn it. I'm a very visual person. I like to see that all of my doubts, my fears, and my negative self-talk and beliefs, and all of these things, I like to see them physically disintegrate before my eyes. And to me, that is how I'm able to let go and move on and feel like I cleared the air within myself to move forward into a month where I can create from a new and fresh mindset. So speaking of setting things on fire, I also sage my house. The way I was taught to sage was to open the windows and doors, have a clear intention in mind, whether it's to release negative energy or make room for blessings, whatever it is, and then you sage every corner in the house while saying this intention. And then once you're done, give yourself a little cleansing with the sage. Might as well help the dog out too, and you'll be good to go. The next thing I do is make a manifestation outline. So I like to write out how I plan to manifest for that month, whether it be the 369 method that I just went over in my previous video, or it's visualizing for five minutes every morning. I just like having a clear picture of how I will manifest certain things. And then underneath, I will write out what I will actually manifest for myself. Again, this is just me liking the structure and feeling like I am setting myself up for success with a clear plan that is realistic and that can be executed. And the last thing that I do is make a goal list. At the beginning of this video, I was talking about the balance of feminine and masculine energy. And to me, having a goal list is me honoring my masculine energy of showing up for myself and going after the things that I want. And in return, it makes me feel safe to express my feminine energy. 
And in order to create from my feminine energy, I have to be able to support myself within my masculine energy. And there's a time and place for both. And it's super, super important to know how and when to incorporate these two. So if you want me to go into more detail about that, I can always make a video about masculine and feminine energy. But to keep it short, I make a list of all the things I want to accomplish within that month, whether that be post two videos a week on YouTube or trade every day or make sure to communicate in my relationship. I usually keep them pretty realistic for me because I like to show up for myself. If I say I'm gonna do something, I really like to actually do that thing that I said I was gonna do. It makes me feel like I can trust myself. I build that stronger relationship within myself because just like everybody else, I have stuff that I'm healing within myself and this is one of the ways that I practice self-love. It's to make a realistic goal for myself that I know that I can accomplish and will accomplish and I'll be better for it. I do write all of my lists down on an actual piece of paper. I've said before that writing with a pen and paper is a form of manifestation within itself. You're bringing thoughts into the physical world where you can actually see them, touch them. So it's really important to me that I write everything down on a piece of paper. And not only for that, I like to do it that way because it feels like it's completely out of my head and it's somewhere that I can always go back to. And for some reason, my phone doesn't make me feel that same relief or satisfaction or whatever you wanna call it. So if you do try any of these, I would definitely recommend actually writing it down with a pen and paper. So those are the four things that I do at the beginning of every month. I personally love to plan and make lists and create this monthly ritual for myself. I feel like that's how you live intentionally and that's also how you make things enjoyable. So I hope this video helps you guys start your month off on the right foot and helps you better create a reality for yourself that you want to experience. Obviously, these can be done at any time if you're just needing to reset and refresh your mindset or your life. Give this a try. Let me know in the comments if you guys have anything that you do at the beginning of the month that I should add to my monthly ritual and let me know if you're going to try any of these. But that's all I have for you guys today. I love you all so, so much and I will see you very soon in another video.